There was a goal recently against West Ham, Schmeichel to Mahrez to Kante driving through the midfield to Vardy. That's the kind of classic end-to-end -end counter attacking goal they've scored this season. They don't care about dominating the ball. They sit back, they defend very deep, they counter-attack very quickly. They've made the most tackles and the most interceptions in the Premier League this year. The star in this regard has been Kante. He has made the most tackles and the most interceptions in the Premier League. They also play very narrow and essentially funnel attacks down the flanks. They stay very deep, very compact. They have Okazaki. He closes down the opposition holding midfielders, which means that Kante and Drinkwater can remain very tight to the centre-backs. Leicester have averaged the third least possession in the league this season. They've also got the lowest pass completion rate in the league, which is incredible when you compare it to other league winners. Eventually, teams realised that they had to sit deep and guard against Jamie Vardy's pace. He's proved the perfect counter-attacking lone striker. He's extremely quick. His runs have become very intelligent, often in the opposite channel to where the ball is. His first touch is very underrated, and his finishing, more than anything, has improved massively since last season. They had a default game plan at the start of the season, but they've been tested, they've been forced to change their strategy, and the set pieces have proved crucial. Mainly from their two centre-backs, Wes Morgan and Robert Hoof. They've scored five goals between them, all since Christmas, all in big games, and again, when teams were sitting deep, guarding against the pace of Vardy, they found different ways to score. If you look at the first 10 minutes against Manchester City, when they won 3-1, they were playing the same way, but much higher up the pitch. They were pressing, they were forcing mistakes. And one of the mistakes they forced led to a free kick, which Huth uh, nodded into the net. Riyad Mahrez took over as Leicester's most important player. He's also very quick and very good on the counter-attack, but he's got more to his game than Vardy. He can dribble, he's got creativity, he commits defenders and creates space for others. And it's notable that when Vardy's scoring slowed down in the spring, Mara's really stepped up, he scored that brilliant goal away at Manchester City, which I think was the moment a lot of us felt that, hang on, Leicester are actually maybe going to do this. And in tight games against packed defences, particularly away at Palace and away at Watford, Mara's was the man to step up, and in the last few months he's been Leicester's key attacking player.